I'm at Fanto's Bakery in Chester. It is the best bakery in the world. Please come out, support this black-owned business. I'm here almost every morning. You won't regret it. Good morning. Welcome Good morning, to Fanto's Donuts. My name is Mr. Peyton, and this is my favorite stop at 8 o'clock on any given morning when I'm at work. Best donuts in the whole city of Chester. Best donuts in Delco, period. That's what's up. So what's your go-to donut here? Glaze. Two glazed donuts. Yeah, everybody talking about that glaze. Two, you gotta try it. Two glazed donuts and a small coffee with cream and sugar. That's the go-to? Yep. How about you over there? You wanna be on camera? No, with the hoodie on. No? <laughs> Started at the age of 15. Okay. Uh, was looking for a summer job, and at that time uh, they had real jobs in the one ads in the papers, and I found this job for uh, Dunkin' Donuts and yeah. started working for them at the age of 15 till the age of 20, 22. Okay. So that's where I got my knowledge for uh, donuts. Okay. And you just kept it going? Well, no. I, life happened. <laughs> <laughs> some years later, uh, 30, some 40, some years later, I opened up this place. Okay. Um, back in 2000, and we've been here ever since. Uh, I'm curious of the name Fatso. Was that was that come from? So Fatso's is my youngest son's uh, nickname. He oh. probably won't answer to that now. Okay. But he's in his mid 20s. Gotcha. So that was uh, that was Beth. His real name's Beth. Not easy. This is something you have to want to do. This can't be a job. It cannot be a job. It has to be a career. This is something that uh, it's you. You being the artist in the culinary field, creating what you do every day. sweet potato pie. We make these every day. So for people that don't know, can you describe the city of Chester? Chester is a, uh, it's a small city. Uh, but you know, everybody pretty much knows everybody else here. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the oldest cities in the United States. Okay. So I'm born and raised here. Uh, I decided to open my business here some 20 years ago. That's how much I believe in the city. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let this set up in the freezer. About a half hour, bring it back, pop it in the oven. Golden, crisp apple pies. I'm here at Fat Souls Donut. This is your local bakery donut shop here in the beautiful city of Chester. And I can tell you, they are so busy right now. Like they are uh, really like the go-to spot. And every, every donut here is hand cut for what I'm told. They get in at like 11 at night the day prior and they're open up at 5.30 in the morning and they're constantly pumping out donuts and donuts. Each donut looks super fresh. I mean, Mr. Wilcox here is like, he's the general. He's got everything down as a clockwork. He got beautiful staff here too. So, y'all, if y'all can get here, get here early because they do sell out every day. And we don't come here asking for no munchkin. Mr. Wilcox will give you the death stare, all right? I seen it firsthand. <laughs> so I heard somebody say, let me get munchkins. 
<laughs> it was like he looked back like Err. the music stopped and everything. <laughs> what can they what can they follow you on social media, sir? Oh, no, I forgot one. You keep up with your social media. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy to keep up with anything. <laughs> that was more of a setup, you know. Yeah, uh, was, Mr. Wilcox yeah. asking what's his social media. He's like uh, he froze for a second like this. <laughs> I'm gonna link it. I'm gonna put it all on the screen so you guys can follow Fat Souls Bakery. You know what, Mr. Wilcox's voice is so smooth and silky. You know, I'm gonna have him do my intro for me. Can you do my intro for me? All right, I'm Richard Wilcox of Fat Toes Bakery. You're watching J.O. Jupiter's TV. Damn, this is Silky's voice right there. You know, he got a million dollar voice. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, I'll be back. Uh, what's up? I say, I say hello when I when okay. I stop through the city of Chester. Good, good. good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, who's next? Excuse me. I enjoy a donut from time to time. Growing up, I overindulge on donuts. I mean, when we first got here to this country in West Philadelphia, weren't too many jobs. Then we got over the bridge to South Jersey and my aunt, she worked at Donut Queen in Camden. If anybody know about Donut Queen in Camden, right off of Haddon Ave, that's where she worked. She would come home with lots of just leftovers from Donut Queen. I mean, boxes and boxes of just leftover donuts. They were gonna throw it away, but she said, nah, we're gonna take this home. We're gonna feed the kids and the whole family with it. So that's what they did. And I overindulged. I mean, I ate so much donuts back in the day that as I got older, I don't eat too much donuts, but I can tell you this is bringing back a nostalgic feeling of getting donuts from my aunt. I mean, something about getting donuts from your local bakery. You can taste the freshness. You can just taste the love in each donut. This is not an exact, this is like one of those donuts that are very addictive. I mean, this glazed donut right here from Fatso's Bakery in Chester, probably one of the best glazed donuts. I mean, take three bites and you're done with it. There's something you should never do. Never go into Fatso's asking for munchkins, all right? Don't do it to yourself. But this is for the kitties. All right, yeah. I seen this one online. I'm like, oh, I got to have this. Some sort of cream filling, caramel cream filling, I guess. But that looks crazy. Mm. 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 Got the apple fillings in the middle. Oh God, that is delicious. This glazed donut tastes like it's undefeated. What does that mean? I don't know. It just means that it's undefeated. It's provocative. Paired with a black coffee. An unbelievably great way to start your morning. These donuts So there we have it, Fat Souls Bakery. They got donuts, they got cakes, whatever type of baking needs that you need. Mr. Wilcox and his whole team there will gladly accommodate y'all. And I love the energy, I love the history of Fat Souls. So make sure you guys subscribe. Thank y'all for rocking with your boy. I think I'm gonna do one more donut, then that should be cool, all right? I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace.